Hello everyone and welcome to the first tutorials and I'm your host Zed and today we're going to look at how to create navigation bar that hovers and when it hovers there's a nice fade in of a orange background in Dreamweaver so this is my website so as you hover on it there's a like fade in orange color and which shows which um navigation are you selecting so it's a really quick simple effect that you can do in Dreamweaver CS6 so basically we're going to use a built-in um, CSS transition in Dreamweaver 6 so I created this before um, this for this project so I'm going to give you a look at this so as you hover on it there's a purple background so now we're going to recreate this and it barely takes you five minutes barely takes you five minutes so it's going to be less than five minutes tutorial so let's get started and i'm going to go to file new html none okay okay first thing you're going to do is in, go to insert panel and click on table we're going to make the table with about um 300 and they're going to be three columns and zero background thickness and you press ok and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on it and align it in the center and now i'm going to type home and if you press tab it goes to the other another um table and we're going to write about us and then we're going to write contact since the width of the table is 300 so we can divide the, each portion in 100 width so what you're going to do is click right here so you can see the typing um, icon blinking go to the W width and type 100 and you and go to go to powders and you're going to type 100 and now go to the contact and type 100 and also we don't want these um aligned to the left so what you what we are going to do is click on it again and it says horizontal we're going to make it center and do this for the rest of them okay and th this is the most important thing that you're going to give them a ID number or not a ID number but an ID name you need to make this possible you need an ID name so what we're going to do is we're going to name it nav and we click on it it says ID nav and better it, it's better to copy it and do it for the other ones and go here and it says new CSS rule and it will say you have to type hashtag nav ID applies to only HTML elements and you're going to press OK and now what we're going to do is click on it go to windows CSS transitions you're going to click on this and target rule is going to be your ID which is hashtag nav and transitions on is going to be hover duration will make it about one second no delays and basically you don't want any delays and timing function is the best thing to use is ease yeah so use ease go to the uh, property and we're going to we're going to select background color and now I'm going to pick a background color which is going to be something similar to our channel theme about this I think no I think that will be good and we're going to click on create transitions and we're going to close it and now we're going to save it file save I'm going to save it as nav tutorial and now we're going to view it in our browser and you go right here browse in chrome or you can press f12 and if you hover on those you can see the background changes and it's a really good effect to use which makes 
navigation look way more professional and nice so it's easy to do it and when you know how to do it it's really quick and you can use it in almost a lot of stuff in your websites in picture hovers a lot of other stuff so this is it guys this is it for this tutorial and i hope you guys learned something new and so i'm going to go now and be sure to subscribe if you have not like and comment and check out our website if you're interested you can order websites from me and i'll make it for you soon so be sure to subscribe again and see you guys next time with another tutorial and bye guys